What up, everybody? How everybody doing today? Man, oh, man. The FTC is like John Cena. Never give up. Never give up, baby. It's over, man. <laughs> oh, my God. They won't give up. What's the purpose? All right, now you see Turkey has approved the deal. Everybody but the CMA and the FTC, they want to be against the deal. And why? Just to say, we don't like big tech joining forces. We don't like that. It's mad annoying, bro. <laughs> Justin Mars, thank you for gifting the membership, bro. You know, I always appreciate you. It's so annoying, bro. But, you know, it is what it is. They have, what is it, 33 hours? We'll see what happens. But all I know is I enjoy seeing Lena Khan get cooked today. Oh, they was on her head, bro. Thank you, everybody, for joining me on another One Man Dark Man podcast. This is, of course, the normal night, Thursday evening at 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. But Tuesday, that was a special show. We know why. We know why that was a special show on Tuesday night. And look, let's be real, man. This Activision Blizzard thing, man, this has caused so much salt in the community, bro. It's unbelievable. All of a sudden, these ponies have become lawyers. <laughs> this, <laughs> this, thing, this thing has caused so much salt, man. I've seen guys go against guys that actually has the expertise in this field. Everybody has become a lawyer. Everybody knows what's best for the, 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 the community. Everybody knows what's best. This FTC deal, I'm sorry, the ABK deal, the FTC is looking foolish. They are literally trying to stop it just to stop it. The longer it goes, that's the more I see. PlayStation fanboys are losing their mind. Absolutely losing their mind over this whole thing. <laughs> just the whole Xbox Game Pass thing has made these guys lose their mind to where they saying saving money doesn't matter. Let me get these super chats so I can get into this, man. Two man, fifty five. Thank you for uh, thank you for becoming another uh, a member again. I'm sorry for thanks for re upping, bro. Appreciate you, Jay Rember with the two TTS. You damn right. The angry therapist. Oh shit, y'all just lose angry therapist. Let me go back and find. Um. Hmm. Angry therapist. I just. Oh, like did you send two of them? Cause I think I missed one of them. Oh, oh, the, oh, the angry therapist that sent five dollars on the first one. Okay. Um, 80s gamers and beyond with the two. Thank you, bro. Jax 82 with the two. No, ask how Lena Khan is doing. She got destroyed. Absolutely destroyed today. Wimpy with the two. What? We can't see them. We can't see what? What you talking about, Wimpy? Jay Evans with the two pounds looks per look personal to the FTC and no longer business. It does look personal. You're supposed to do what's best for the consumer. What are you doing? Onyx with the two more cooked than Dreamcast guy. Yellow sticker steak. Dut. <laughs> she was cooked, bro. <laughs> Yellow steak. The angry therapist with the two ponies came out today because of the FTC. I heard some ponies that deactivated their Twitter a couple days ago reactivated their Twitter today. No heart. Big boy Mike with the two. They never won a competition to begin with. Absolutely, bro. Absolutely. She got cooked, though, man. So, like I was saying, this ABK deal, guys, let's go back. Because if you really think about what this deal has caused, 
it has caused ponies to bring up to make up narratives like organic growth. When that narrative was a thing last year, it was hilarious because nobody has ever said, nobody has ever said, you know what? I don't want that new company or as far as sports, I don't want that new player on my team. Even though he's really good, I don't want him on my team because we didn't draft him. It's not organic growth. It makes no sense. So ponies have become lawyers. It has to be organic growth. Don't forget, exclusives doesn't matter anymore. They have lost their minds. They have lost it. Because you think about all of the shit they've said, man, over this ABK deal. <laughs> this ABK deal. I don't know what to even say anymore. I already have no respect for these guys. And my the little respect I had just dwindled because they're just full of shit. Let's be honest, right? Xbox was being bashed for years. They're do like me. You ever heard of a relationship where the girl said, You piece of shit, get a job. You ain't nothing. You ain't nothing. I don't know why I'm, I'm even with you. Then when the guy get himself together, get a job, start doing better, then the woman still still ain't happy. Then she's still like, you know what? I don't like the way you dressing now. You don't cook as much. Well, I'm working now, honey. Well, yeah, I know, but you don't cook as much. Bitch, make up your mind. You said I was a POS. I wasn't working. I wasn't doing nothing. Now I'm working. Now you talk about the stuff I can't do anymore because it's stupid. Xbox ain't got no games. Xbox ain't got no studios. Xbox get those things. Well, we don't like the way you bought those studios. That's not organic. They have lost their minds, man. Wimpy with the five. You said the FTC is like John Cena. I was saying we can't see what they're fighting. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I got you, bro. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Lord Stock Killer, thank you for gifting five more memberships, bro. Shout out to you, man. Shout out to you guys. You guys are so generous and supportive, man. I appreciate you. Speaking of Lord Stock Killer, you got a five. Time for the Oversight Committee to make a motion for POS of the week. Lena Khan's dismissal in Melina Khan. Bro. Ooh. She got them legs beat today, bro. The angry therapist with the 10. Maybe because I'm old and some of these ponies are young. PlayStation got to this place because of backing of Sony as a company as a whole. And back then, PlayStation was used to push Sony tech. Yeah, man. Um, PlayStation did things to in business. You have to do that. And let me reiterate. I always say I don't have a problem with any of the things that PlayStation is doing. They're aggressive. Right, they're being aggressive, they're aggressive business. I don't have a problem with any of that. I have a problem when Xbox is being aggressive and people are crying. That's what I have a problem with. THX with the two Xbox never stop fighting into the fight until the fight is done. Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> Kizzle with the 10. Shout out to Lena Khan, a miracle she can stand up after <laughs> taking all these L's. She got stir fried by Congress. That's what happens when you waste taxpayer money protecting Sony instead of holding the line. Hey, you're absolutely right. She damn sure wasn't trying to protect the consumer. She really wasn't. Oh, was that Biggity? Oh, wait. Thanks for becoming a member, bro. Appreciate you. He almost looked familiar in that picture. Thank you. But um, any member chats? Nope. No, so like I was saying, man, um, so the, the, the things these guys have come up with is, is almost embarrassing, right? Because they're so full of it. Like Kyle Moriarty, exclusives doesn't matter. All that stuff just blows me away, man. Their behavior blows me away. Guys deleting their Twitter or deactivating their Twitter because they don't want to feel the heat only to come back 
when they think it's safe. But trust me, you're going to leave again because you made yourself look worse by deactivating your Twitter in the first place. No heart. None. All right, guys. Um, so the FTC. <laughs> bro. This is a damn embarrassment. The FTC files an appeal. But look, what's up, dear? How you doing? FTC files an appeal. But listen, I don't even want to talk about that, like, for real, for real. I want to talk about how, let me, yo, let me show my screen. Let me share my screen, I should say. Because I know you guys seen this. But um, on the, uh, the stock market. Xbox deal could be closing soon. Activision Blizzard to leave stock exchange. Now, look, guys, I'm not going to act like I know everything about the stock market. Like I'm the smartest guy in the world because I'm not. I'm not about to act like an expert, like I'm some dumbass pony. acting like they they passed a bar or something when it comes to law. They're saying that Activision Blizzard <laughs> is, is going to be removed soon. They're, they're going to be replaced with another company. The Call of Duty and Candy Crush, Candy, Candy Crush publisher is expected to leave the NASDAQ 100 stock index on July 17th. That's what, Sunday? What's today? The 13th, 14th? That's Monday, right? Why? Because they're going to be on the Xbox. What you need to know, Microsoft announced it will be acquiring Activision Blizzard King, the publishers behind, yeah, we know that. The deal has undergone significant legal scrutiny. Yes, we know that. And I have no problem with the scrutiny. This is a huge deal. Massive. You know it was it was going to be scrutinized. Xbox knew it was going to be scrutinized. That's why they gave themselves 18 months to get this deal closed. 18 months. They knew it would be scrutinized. So, um, Alan Vest Wire shared on Twitter that Trade Desk will be Trade Desk will be replacing Activision on Nasdaq. Trade Desk, whatever that is. That that that's it. That to me means Xbox is about to close this deal. They seem to be confident this appeal ain't gonna be shit. It's just prolonging the inevitable, man. That's all it's doing is prolonging the inevitable. The move by ABK to leave the stock exchange could be in preparation to close the ABK deal should the FTC's appeal fail to grant an injunction. It's crazy at this point, man. It's annoying. <laughs> they're they're going to take them off, off, off of the stock market. Well, you know, listen, man, they're going to replace them. They're going to be on the Microsoft now. So we have, what's today? It's Thursday, 6, 16 p.m. Xbox can technically close. Was it? Is it Saturday morning at midnight? I believe 12.01. So we'll see what happens, man. Raiden Blade with the two pounds. Khan won 33% raise, rising fund, but Congress removed 25%. I'm going to get to her because <laughs> she got smoked, bro. I was watching Sean's stream. I was like, damn. P. Lump with the two. When you mess with Microsoft, you go in the grinder. Microsoft is a very powerful company. I'm just happy that this thing is almost over with, bro. And I see now I'm seeing ponies. The narrative is starting to be, why are y'all so happy? Because y'all still get the same games. Yeah, man. Um, but you got to realize, I saw um, Reforce Gaming said, so this is all about saving some money. That's all. Saving money is always a positive in my book, right? But you have to realize you're getting all of these teams under Xbox control, right? They're under Xbox. Actually, Phil Spencer is going to run Activision Blizzard. All of these teams, the potential for future games is there. Everybody keep on thinking about Call of Duty only, only. 
And we've seen the contract. Call of Duty is the only obligation for multi-platform. We've seen the documents. Call of Duty is the only multi-platform obligation after the deal is finalized. So people, oh, y'all, this what? All y'all care about is Call of Duty. It's, it's about more than Call of Duty. What if they make another crash? All those IP that will be under Xbox now. They might do something with it. They might not do something with it, but the possibilities is incredible. They might not ever do another true crime. They might not ever do another, um, what's the name of that damn game with the guy? Prototype. Or maybe they might do another. Who? The possibilities are endless, man. Lord Star Killer with the five. What the F, FTC? The FTC is protecting Sony PlayStation growth without boundaries. And yet they want to disallow competitive growth for Microsoft Xbox. <sighs> Bro, it's, it's almost unbelievable to me. And some of the stuff I've been seeing, man. <laughs> some of the stuff I've been seeing. I'm about to make this a uh, topic. Some of the stuff I've been seeing about Judge Corley. About Judge Jacqueline, what's her name? Jacqueline Scott Corley. People are trying to say, well, her son works for Microsoft. That was <laughs> that was said long time ago. FTC knew her son works for Microsoft. And guess what? They chose Judge Corley. Pony's trying to run with that. Shut up. Shut your ass up. They still, they knew her son worked for Microsoft. Her son is just a regular employee. He's not an executive. He's a regular employee. They knew that. And they still chose her. End of conversation. No more questions, Your Honor. Shut up. All you ponies, shut up. You're trying to find something. You're, 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 you're trying to find some type of technicality to make it make it work in your favor. Well, that's not right. Her son works at Microsoft. Yes, the FTC knew that. And she still, and they still chose her. So stop it. That's the narrative y'all trying to spin. I saw Red Dragon trying to spin it. Stupid. Um, member chat from Bob McPhee. McPhee. Dirt, you should make POS of the year. Oh, yeah. POS of the year is coming, brother. <laughs> but we got to wait till the end of the year, of course. <laughs> Wimpy with the five. I feel Squidward will get as much smoke as Dreamcast guy when this passes. Oh, man. Call that woman Squidward. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Y'all ain't shit, man. Call that woman Squidward, Wimpy. Triz, you know what it is with the five. 12. Pacific time, I believe. So 3 a.m. Eastern. Oh, okay. That's right. Because Microsoft, yeah, they, they are in California. You're right, bro. Thank you. You're absolutely right. But I'll be asleep. But trust me, I'm going to get up in the middle of the night and piss because, you know, I'm older. I'll be having to piss at 4 o'clock in the morning. Get up and I'm going to look at my phone. <laughs> the angry therapist with the five. Let's not lose sight of the fact that Microsoft is willing to let them unionize. That's a huge help. I'm sorry, a huge deal. It helps the devs. Yeah, man. This is, bro, how is this anti-consumer, though? That's what this is all about, right? Shout out to the 664. How is this anti-consumer? Because that's what FTC's argument is, right? How? They don't know how. They couldn't prove that it's anti-consumer. The judge looked at them like, what? Anti-consumer? How? It's not. How is putting Call of Duty on more platforms anti-consumer? How is putting Call of Duty in Xbox Game Pass anti-consumer? It's not. Every other country besides the UK said, oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> we'll prove it. No problem. We'll prove it. Turkey just approved it today. Yeah, yeah, we'll prove it. No problem. But these POS is right here. There's, you know, like you got, you ever seen somebody that's always this difficult? Like, why are you so damn difficult, bro? 
the FTC and CMA, they're just difficult. You like <laughs> you are in the group. Hey man, let's go to McDonald's. All right, it's cool. You know, I watched the video how they make chicken McNuggets. I'm not going to McDonald's. What well, don't go to McDonald's, you punk? <laughs> you know, you, like you got somebody in your family like that. My cousin like that. I saw the way they make hot dogs. I don't want any more glizzies. Good. Don't eat none there. Ah. <laughs> can't stand people like that, man. Uh, yeah, Dia, thank you. Support the third channel. Hit the like button, y'all. Thank you. Everybody here. Xbox Series G with the five. Long time listener. First time donating. Keep doing what you're doing, you beautiful black POS. Hey, thank you. <laughs> hey, thank you, man. You were insulting me and and gave me a compliment in the same super chat. Thank you, bro. Appreciate that. <laughs> Beautiful black POS. <laughs> Wimpy with the two. Only messy towards people who are messy. Yeah, there's a lot of messy people out there, man. So, um, the Republicans was on their head today. But, like, back to my point. So, like I said, I've seen Red Dragon try to bring up the whole her son thing, a conflict of interest and all that BS. And it doesn't matter. Everything they say is irrelevant because the FTC knew that Judge Corley's son worked at Microsoft. That's it. Nothing else you guys can say. It's over. They, they stop talking. Stop trying to make that a point. Stop trying to make that something. <laughs> they stop it. It's Please. Idiots, I loathe you, loathe all of you ponies. All right, let's move on, man. Um, let me go to my notes to see exactly what I was going to talk about. Got to be prepared with this, man. Got to be prepared. Um, Rassy and Clank, I'll talk about Rassy and Clank later. We already talked about Judge Corley's son. At the prison building. Oh, we're gonna talk about Jim Ryan turning down. Oh, yeah, that's hey, that's some big news. I don't know if you guys heard. Uh, you know, um, let me you know I'll talk about this now because this is not gonna be a long topic. I don't know if you guys heard, but um Jim Ryan to my timestamps turned down call of duty marketing and extension, right? Let me get the super chats first. Shell boss. 105342 Davis with the five. What I find weird that I noticed no one else called out is how Sony owns marketing rights for both Marvel and DC games, and they want to whine. Did they have marketing rights for um Gotham Knights? Maybe they did. But that goes back to what Phil Spencer said, man. It's easier to get the marketing rights when you're the market leader. And I think he's absolutely right. Of course he's right, because he's Phil Spencer. He knows. If you look at the Xbox 360 generation, Xbox had a lot of those marketing rights, guys. They market Call of Duty that entire generation. They marketed NBA 2K, I think, all the way up until the last year, maybe 2013, 2012. They had most of the marketing deals. And you look, you look at the PS4, they had most of the marketing deals, and the PS5 have most of the marketing deals. So Phil Spencer, what he was saying, they have to pay more because they are not the market leader for marketing deals. So that makes a lot of sense, man. And marketing deals are super important, guys. I'm sorry. I think that's one of the rank, a big reason why Jim Ryan is pissed off and he don't want the deal to go through. There's a there's a, a multitude of reasons. One is, of course, Game Pass. Two is marketing. I'm just saying. Lowest Star Killer with the five. I kept expecting LK's nose, <laughs> Lena Khan's nose to keep getting bigger. Just like Leslie Nielsen knows did in the airplane movie. Are you old as hell, Leslie Nielsen? I love Leslie Nielsen in <laughs> airplane movie, naked gun movies. Great stuff, bro. Joe Dunmore with the five. Red Dragon loves Xbox. He just plays a pony on social media. <sighs> For some reason, people don't put Red Dragon in that category with MBG and, and Crap Gamer, which is the category of former Xbox guy turned Xbox hater. Yeah, he was definitely on that list. So let me change it, change this time stamp. All right, guys. So let me pull this up about good old Jim Ryan. He turned down, man. Um, marketing deal. Let me bring this up. Let me make it bigger. 
So you guys can see Dola Knight with the two leaning kind equals handsome square work and Scotty Pippen. <laughs> handsome square work and Scotty Pippen. That's a good one. I like that one. That's that's a good one. So Microsoft says Activision's Bobby Kotek offered to extend Sony's Call of Duty code marketing agreement beyond 2024 to appease Sony requests on COD. But Jim Ryan refused the offer and said he'd rather have regulators just block the Microsoft deal instead. Damn. Damn, y'all. Bobby Kotek offered to extend their marketing agreement beyond 2024. And he said, no, just block that deal. What is, you know what? If this deal gets passed, which I'm pretty damn sure it will be, this appeal will fail. Sony hasn't signed that 10 year agreement yet. What happens? I'm about to read this. Sony also refuses to extend this Call of Duty co-marketing agreement with Activision, which is set to expire in 2024. Activision CEO Bobby Kotek has attempted to discuss an extension of that agreement with leadership at Sony, Sony namely Sony CEO Kenichiro, Ken, Kenichiro, Kenichiro Yoshida and PlayStation CEO Jim Ryan. However, Mr. Ryan refused the offer, saying he hoped that the regulators would do their job and block the deal. Wow. Tellingly, Mr. Ryan wrote to his original boss at PlayStation Europe, a man he considers a mentor, when the deal was announced and said the transaction is not an exclusivity play at all and that he was pretty sure we will continue to see COD on PlayStation for many years to come. <sighs> These guys, in my opinion, see now they're digging their own grave, man. They Listen, marketing works. Marketing works, and PlayStation has had the marketing for COD since 2015, and it's been working for them. Bobby Kotek uh, admitted on the stand that PlayStation's revenue was pretty much double of Xbox's revenue when it comes to Call of Duty. Marketing works. He offered, <laughs> God, Bobby Kotek offered to extend it. So, obviously, he offered to extend the marketing deal after the ABK acquisition was announced. Obviously, because Jim Ryan said, no, I don't want to extend nothing. I want the deal blocked. Wow, bro. So when the deal goes through, when they close it this weekend, this is the last year Call of Duty will have marketing with PlayStation. They said it ends in 2024, but they said as far as the games, this is the last year Call of Duty will be marketed by PlayStation. Check this out. <clears throat> They're never getting the marketing again. They're never getting the marketing again. This isn't all oh, year. Xbox is going to market it for three years. No, 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 no. Xbox is going to own them. They're never getting the marketing again. So for Jim Ryan to say, no, just block the deal. <laughs> what? I think sometimes we forget. Sometimes people with a lot of education, these executives, they're really smart people. But sometimes we forget that they're human beings and they make dumbass decisions. Don Matrick, a very smart human being, much smarter than I can ever be. But sometimes their smarts leads to dumbass decisions. Don Matrick made a dumb decision with the Xbox One. Jim Ryan, <laughs> smart man. He's a CEO of a of, of the number one gaming brand. He said, no, let's block the deal. Okay. Are y'all going to sign that deal or not, bro? Are y'all going to sign that 10-year offer? Because <laughs> we was talking about this on Attic Show. If this deal closed, when this deal closed, closes, and that offer is still on the table. What what is Xbox going to do? Are they going to pull that deal off the table? Are they going to keep it on the table? What if PlayStation does assign it? What happens? Are they that arrogant to say 
well, we make so much money for Call of Duty and Activision Blizzard, Xbox, you better put it on our uh, uh, console anyway. I don't know. It's crazy. Alvin with the five. Yo, Dirt, it's not a topic, but don't forget, Ratchet and Clank confirmed don't need an SSD. Oh, it's in the title, brother. Just look. You know I'm going to talk about that. You know damn well I'm going to talk about that. Listen, 2020 was wild with ponies. All of the rumors we was hearing about the Xbox series and the PS5, and when there was a little confirmation that the PS5 was going to have a better SSD, oh my God, ponies went crazy. Dan Lazaro with the five. I didn't think I could hate someone I've never met, but every time I see Squidward's face, I swear I'm not a violent man. But calm down, Dan. Calm down, brother. <laughs> calm down, killer. It's all right, man. It's all right. Don't hurt nobody. Wimpy with the 10. Have you ever tried Concur Live and reload it on Xbox, uh, Xbox Series X on a good TV with 4K enhanced settings? Oh, you're talking about Conquer. Yeah, yeah, I did. I did, yeah. It's not bad looking. Just wish it got an FPS boost. Yes, I did play that. So you meant Conquer. Yep, I did play it. Look, maybe sometime last year. That what I did, bro. Angry Therapist with the two. Almost sound like Jim had them on his payroll. That's definitely what it sounds like, bro. How many people we got in there? Uh, and, and, uh, am I botting, guys? Because my Wi-Fi signs popped up. I might. I, oh, it's gone now. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's, that's exactly what it sounds like, bro. We got 835 people here, baby. Let's go. Crazy horse with the five. Ratchet and Clank doesn't need the magic SSD to be played on PC. You can use a traditional hard drive. That's crazy, isn't it? We're going to get to that. We're going to get to that, yo. <laughs> Um, THX with the two Gollum Moriarty is very quiet, hiding in his cave. Oh man, hiding in his cave. Um, so anyway, so yeah, um, I find it very odd that Jim Ryan did not sign the extension to keep marketing for Call of Duty. That's odd to me. How I mean, not only does the marketing if PlayStation has marketing, they can't put it in Xbox Game Pass, right? Xbox can't use it, can't put it in Xbox Game Pass. But also, PlayStation loves to market it. I mean, they marketed it great. And marketing helps. If you see a person, a casual, you like, okay, Hogwarts Legacy, Hogwarts Legacy the perfect example of marketing. February PlayStation Move Units. They broke records. The PS5 sold like crazy because people thought Hogwarts Legacy was a damn exclusive, bro. The only people knew it wasn't was us, like people like us. That's that's into that's really into the industry. We knew it was a multiplat. Castle was thought it was a damn exclusive. Sean mentioned how his brother or his cousin or somebody thought it was exclusive, and we heard that um. Sarah Bond said PlayStation exclusivity, I'm sorry, marketing deals makes it seem like the games are exclusive. Xbox can only show the game off on Xbox website. <sighs> McFlo, what do you talk about, man? None of that stuff in here. <sighs> I mean, I really don't care, but sometimes YouTube will be tripping when you say stuff like that. And I just got my chapters back. I know you know the hell I yeah. <laughs> Wimpy with the two damn autocorrect. It's okay, bro. I understood you talking about conquer. It's all good, my man. G stuff with the two. We got a better console. We have quick resume. Quick resume is a dope feature, bro. Dope feature. Um, so yeah, so Jim Ryan. <laughs> Jim Ryan. <laughs> it's amazing. I don't understand why he would turn that down. Maybe he was so confident that the deal was going to be blocked. <sighs> Sorry, Jim Ryan. Sorry, brother. The deal is not going to be blocked, man. And um, <sighs> tough break, nigga. <laughs> Sorry, bro. <laughs> when the deal is uh done. It'll still be on PlayStation, but y'all ain't getting that marketing, bro. 
And don't forget, PlayStation, PlayStation fanboys, you y'all know what y'all have done. Somebody woke a sleeping giant. <laughs> okay, now just give us that three ninety. Yeah, don't forget that. Wimpy with the five. I tried it today on the OLED, and I was like, "Damn, this is OG Xbox." I remember that game being beautiful. That was one of the first games I got on my original Xbox. It was a beautiful game. I never did finish that game though. Game Punisher with the five. Me and Cass got to look like the aftermath of two can Sam Khan pecked his face. Game Punisher, man, that's not nice at all. <laughs> did you call her two can Sam, bro? <laughs> From Fruit Loops. Oh man. Lord Star Killer with the two. Salty is gaming out of hiding on Twitter. Yeah, I man, I saw that. I saw he uh, you know, came back. I knew I knew he didn't delete his uh his Twitter. He just deactivated. It. You can tell. Because he, he I think he's done it before. Dragon Knight with the two. Sony learning what it is like to lose something. Yeah. They are, bro. And thanks for uh like, thanks for that being your first um super chat, man. Appreciate you. Jerry Mack, what is up, homie? Great beard. I, I'm I'm not fully there. I got the chin. I'm not fully there yet. <laughs> but what's up with you, homie, with the two? Lena Khan is a dope fiend. She, she's addicted to losing. I like the uh I like how the Congress people said you are 0 for 4. <laughs> that was on her head, man. They was on her head today. Like, you was 0 for 4. Doc Winters with the 10. Oh, let me put it on here. First super uh, here doing some great content. You have earned my sub. Oh, Doc Winters. Thank you, bro. Doc Winters. I appreciate that, man. Appreciate it, man. You guys are showing support. Uh, shout out to the 830 people in here, man. All right. Um. So yeah, this that that Jim Ryan turning out a deal. I thought that's that's just crazy. That's bananas to me, bro. That's absolutely bananas. Uh. Y'all be sending me DMs during the show. I'm trying not to. It's hard to read them while I'm by myself. If this is on WBG or some or TTS, it's, it's easier. Okay. Cool. Uh. THX with the two ratchet PC doesn't need SSD. Confirmed. It's a PS4 game. <laughs> It's a it, it's a beautiful game, but I think everybody knew that shit ain't need no damn SSD. Ponies was hyping that SSD up, bro. Hyping it real bad. Hyping it like, yeah, the SSD. SSD. Nah, man. We ain't gonna do that with that SSD. So, all right, let me go ahead and switch gears a little bit. I'm trying to find something on Twitter. Um, Don't think I'll be able to find it, but I'm going to look. I want to look right quick because it really does have something. Nah, I'm looking at my on my Twitter page, so I don't know, guys. Oh well. Um. So anyway, let's. Oh, let me get these super chats. Wimpy with another five. Finish it, please. It's like it takes two, but single player has a little bit of every game in one. It it, it takes two. That was a, listen. It takes two was legit one of the best games I ever played, bro. That game was amazing. Assassin 89 with the two, Jim Ryan, and Salty is gaming has no heart. <laughs> no heart, man. No heart at all. How you talk all that shit and then try to, and then when it's your turn to get roasted, you disappear. You know what I'm saying? No heart. Uh oh, I found it. Good shit. Dolan Knight with the two. Leaning Khan has a 0.333 winning percentage. That's not too good, man. I thought it was zero. <laughs> I thought it was zero. Onyx with the two. Every time Lena Breeze kills seven pigeons in Africa. Come on, Onyx. <coughs> Come on, Onyx. That's not nice at all. Come on, Alex. Be nice. All right, guys. Um, let's talk about this. Let me let me do my super chat. I'm sorry, my um timestamps. I'm sorry. Forty one. The SSD. 
the magical SSD, guys. What's up with the SSD? The PlayStation has this amazing SSD. I don't know if you guys knew it or not, but it's it's game changing. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> Ponies told me that nothing is as powerful as the PlayStation SSD. No other hard drive comes close. <clears throat> the SSD is game changing. Remember they told us that? I'm still trying to find what I'm looking for. Do you remember they told us that? Nothing is as good as the SSD. Wait a minute, why can't I freaking find it? I'll, shit. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Let me show you guys. The good old PlayStation SSD. Now, Ratchet and Clank on PC is set to drop July 26, 2023. That's cool, right? Cool. And you're looking at the uh, PC spe specs. You 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 don't see um, SSD. You don't see SSD needs to be here. It doesn't say SSD is mandatory. That's fine. But something that happened, PlayStation fanboys told me nothing was possible. I'm, I'm sorry, Ratchet and Clank wasn't possible on nothing except for the PS5 because of its SSD. Now, I remember playing Crash Bandicoot 4. And late in that game, there were some parts that really remind me of Ratchet and Clank, like you went from one world to another. But all of a sudden, this SSD is game-breaking to where Ratchet and Clank can only run on the SSD. Um, PlayStation fanboys, look at yourselves! All you do is give yourselves L's. You give yourself L's. That's why you want to hide after afterwards. You want to deactivate the Twitter because you're always giving yourself L's. Let me share. I mean, let me read this right quick. Kizzle with the two ponies have special SSD. Sony simping disorder. I love it. I love it. J. Mac with the two. SSD. Psych Sony Dummies. TTS, y'all. Talk it. Jax82 with the five. How funny when one of them told Lena Khan, you you in 0 and 4. Why are you losing so much? Yeah, man, that was hilarious, bro. I was like, damn. <laughs> we going to get to it. Phase 114 with the two. Jimmy Ryan is a better B. Yeah, man, he, he soft, bro. Got no heart. Dark Winters with the two. Lion Jim Ryan shaking my head. Yep. Yeah. I'm with you, bro. So let me show this. I had, <laughs> I actually <laughs> had some receipts. I posted this last year of October 27, 2022. Now let me show some of these receipts. As you see, Porter Rock said, example of how fast Xbox Series S X SSD speed is. January 2020. Told you. This is right before COVID hit. Them guys was filling themselves because we knew both consoles was dropping in 2020. This is before we even knew about the Xbox Series S. It was just a rumor at this point. It wasn't confirmed. But he had an old man walking or trying to run. He was very slow. So they were talking shit because remember what I said? we had got information that the PS5 SSD was supposed to be better than Xbox Series X's. The PlayStation guys ran with it. Then this guy, this pony right here, Tiger, he said, true, third-party games will be held back by Xbox Series X. The games will be made for slow SSD. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see why I take receipts down? I took this receipt and, bro, I just keep receipts for years. I'm telling you, when, when my receipts go through like two or three different phones, you know, I'm a I'm a, a Samsung Galaxy guy, so they just, I just upload them, you know, like in the cloud, you know, like you guys know. 
it went to three different phones. I, I have receipts I've had that long. Three or four different phones. The guy LED, he responded, yes, that will be the case. But if third-party developers decide to build a game on PS5 SSD, then there'll be a problem for the Xbox Series X. <laughs> oh, my God. Do you guys see what's so funny? These guys was talking shit. Oh, my God. They said third-party games will be held back because of Xbox Series X SSD. Yeah, man. <laughs> now, this guy, you see, this is a YouTube comment. This guy, Shea Capo, left this on one of my YouTube videos. He said, he was talking to another guy. He said, wrong. Ultra power SSD will let them hit 60 FPS at 1440p. This dumbass thought the SSD would help the game run better frames. And no, he's not joking. He's not trolling. He really thought this shit. And you see my response. I'm going to screenshot this shit, Shake. I will bring it back at a later date. <laughs> I told him in advance. I knew that comment he left was so crazy and so stupid. I said, yo, bro, I'm bringing this. I'm going to screenshot this shit and bring it back at a later date. And that's exactly what I did. Actually, this is the second time I'm bringing it out. These ponies are stupid, man. <sighs> then, you, then you started to see Gabe. I, I believe this is a Plays Tale Requiem. Uh, no, is this what the guy? Yeah, a, a Plays Tale Requiem. <laughs> it was you know faster on the Xbox Series X, loading faster. So, th so like this is just me talking shit. Like, yo, man, it's, it's loading faster on the Xbox Series X. Y'all said this SSD was going to change the world. They did. <laughs> oh, man, I need to find some more receipts. I thought I had some more. Let me get this uh, these super chats before we continue. Louis Frag with the two pounds. Hold on, let me make sure we got on member chats. Oh, a pony came in here? please lewis frag with the two pounds these ponies will never will never know hey you know lewis uh these ponies they'll never know bruh <laughs> you never know what you, you never know you gonna be some vaseline my nigga uh. <laughs> you never know <laughs> frantic animator with the five someone told me today that pc players will run into a loading screen going through a portal I wish I could virtually slap somebody. Yes, man, they are delusional. Absolutely delusional. Game Punisher with the five. I need my KT fix. I need it, man. Let me hear. Let me hear. Look, look, look. It is. <laughs> hey, man, I just can't just, you know, I just can't do it like that. I got to be motivated to do that piece of shit. You know what I'm saying? I got to be no, I got to be motivated to imitate that piece of shit. Nigga, look, nigga, look at the dinner table. Why are there so many plates there, nigga? <laughs> Aaron Greenberg Berg did not have enough carbs on his plate. Actually, he had too many carbs on his plate, nigga. Uh, Lord Star Killer with the five. Only possible with the magical PS5 SSD. Yeah, right. A bunch of marketing BS. Did PlayStation market that, or was that just the ponies, though? Part of me think that was just the ponies talking trash, bro. I could be wrong, but did PlayStation really market it like that? Uh, SSD. Did I have some more SSD stuff? I guess not. I thought I had some more SSD receipts. I have some. They're in my phone. I can't get them right now. Yeah, I have a few more. Um, Wimpy with the 5. I do have a PS5, too. It's the same gamer tag, but with an Xbox logo cool man that's cool bro i got a ps5 me two same gamer tag and i don't play that bitch no i haven't finished uh jedi survivor yet i have i told you i put it down to go play redfall 
didn't finish. Then I, I finished Red Father now. Now I'm on, on Gotham Knights. <laughs> Excuse me. THX with the two PS5 SSD is so fast it's catching fire with Final Fantasy 16. Facts. It's so fast. It's lightning fast, man. It's so incredible. Dark Winters with the 10. The PlayStation SSD did change the game. Melted these boys' mind. <laughs> I love it, man. Good old SSD. It's a damn embarrassment, man. I remember, guys. Oh, man, you know, the SSD is a game changer. Xbox. Well, you guys saw that receipt. He said third-party games are going to be worse on Xbox because of the SSD. <laughs> Come on, man. You can't be real. So, All right, what's the time, guys? What's the time looking like? 52. Okay, let's go on and get to this last topic. Um, Lean the con, guys. Lena Khan got smoked today. I don't know if you guys watched it. I didn't watch the whole thing, but I was watching Sean um, stream. Sean just said, I'm I'm just going to stream it, dut. I was like, you really about to stream? I thought he was joking. And that POA started to stream in it. So I was like, damn. Like, wow. Lena Khan got killed today, y'all. Let me let me play. Let me play some clips. Let me play some clips. So I don't know if you guys heard, but um, you know what? Let me play the clip. For the Democrats on this very committee, you used money according to your Senate questionnaire. You held yourself out as counsel for the Democrats on this very committee. You used this title, but you were not licensed to practice law. Oh, <laughs> they said she is not licensed to practice law. Go ahead and continue, ma'am. Counsel is a term reserved for lawyers, licensed lawyers. And in Wyoming, a person who in any manner holds themselves as competent to practice law without a license to do so is guilty of unauthorized practice of law. I believe the law in the District of Columbia where you held yourself out is, is, is similar. Do you believe it is appropriate for non-lawyers to claim the title of counsel? Uh, Congressman, when I had the honor to work for this committee, I complied with all of the document requests that the HR folks requested including documentation about the fact when that I checked your registration status this morning I learned that you are not in good standing with the New York bar your license is listed as delinquent which means you have failed to file your biennial registrations and it means that you have not been paying your bar dues completing your continuing legal education and maintaining your law license I believe it's shown on the on, on, on the, the the screen it also means you're subject to referral for disciplinary action. Oh. I find this situation to be stunning and a reflection on your ethics. Oh. With that, I yield back. Oh. So, Damn. So they're saying she's not even licensed. She's not a licensed lawyer or whatever. They said she has to pay her bar fees. Wow. What does that mean? I don't know. They said she's delinquent. She ain't pay her bar fees. She's not licensed. You know what? But that's not it. <laughs> wait. Hey, what's that movie? Is that a scary movie? That wait. There's more. Hold on. Hey, bro. Why are you? Hey, man. Hey, 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 wimpy. You sending me messages? I'm trying to do the show, bro. It's hard to do <laughs> both. I'm just by myself. Um. Let me show this. This one is good. You're failing in that. You're going to fail. You then took on Microsoft. Microsoft's a big, big company. Everybody up here seems to want to beat on anyone that has over a trillion dollar market cap. And when you served on the committee, you were big on if you were over a trillion dollars, we need to break you up or stop you. However, that merger that you lost the other day is one in which a protected market that Sony enjoys in, China, in Japan, a company that is already larger, needs competition. The reality is we are a global market and you are thinking only of who you want to go after for some reason. Mm. And I cannot find your logic. And I believe that it begins at the top. I do When you blamed your staff and said staff decisions, shame on you. Mm. The fact is you run this organization and its left turn came when you took over, not with the staff that many of whom would have already been there. 
He said she threw her staff under the bus. Damn. He said she threw her staff under the bus. Yo. Listen, the cooking isn't done yet, guys. No, no, no. The cooking isn't done yet. <laughs> Let's go ahead and um show some more of this good old, like what? <laughs> good old cooking. Because she being roasted, y'all. Let's go. But are you bringing cases you. that you expect to lose? Could you repeat Are that? you bringing cases that you expect to lose? Absolutely not. <laughs> Wait a minute. He asked her, <laughs> is she bringing cases she's expecting to lose? That's that's a question he's asking because I guess every case that the FTC has fought doesn't seem like a valid case anyway. Everybody knew they were going to lose. So he's asking the question like, yo, are you just trying to lose? <laughs> Let's continue, guys. Okay, well, your track record seems to suggest otherwise. Let's look more closely at the Activision decision, though. Uh, the court first noted that in an attempt to lower your burden, you essentially made up case law. You couldn't find anything, uh, actually, that the courts have provided in terms of precedence. You cited to your own FTC decision uh, as precedent. But irrespective of the legal standard, uh, the court, you probably wouldn't have won under any standard because the court said this, that the FTC has not raised serious questions regarding whether the proposed merger is likely to substantially lessen competition, not raised serious questions. The court also rejected your assert, not only rejected your assertion of a likely anti-competitive effect, but found just the opposite, that the record evidence points to more consumer access. So why should Americans have faith in your judgment when this Biden-appointed judge says you are so far off the mark? Congressman, this matter is still pending before the FTC in administrative... Let me stop right there. Right there. I saw some people on Twitter saying, like, post up... Why does it just stop like that? Like, post up as some other guy said. They feel that the FTC appealed just so she can use that statement in court. This is an ongoing investigation. I can't comment on that at the moment. If listen, I, I obviously don't know if that's true, but if that's true, this is some saltiest game in style of cowards, cowardice right here. Unbelievable. Let's let's watch the rest of it. Start all over, but I remember where it was that. It was around 50 something. Merits. Uh, our complaint lays. So I'm just going to be limited in what I can say about the merits. Uh, our complaint lays out uh, the staff's view of the what this merger would result in and why that would be a law violation. Uh, you might but the judge roundly that. rejected it and said there weren't even serious questions. And now having lost, you're spending even more taxpayer money mm. on an appeal that you're even less likely to win because the appeals court is going to defer to the trial court's findings of fact in this very fact-intensive matter. So why are you spending even more taxpayer resources pursuing this appeal? Mm. So I can say again, this was a you know staff recommendation. I can say it a general matter. Uh, staff always looks closely at an opinion and looks at whether there are certain errors in law that they believe are worth appealing on. Those are, in general, the types of determinations that go into whether the FTC ends up appealing. Melina. Gentlemen's time. Melina, you got them legs beat. <laughs> he said, you're appealing something you're not going to win. And honestly, the more I think about it, the more they probably know they're not going to win. They just want it to be delayed. They want Xbox. They know Xbox has to close it by, what, Tuesday? They know Xbox has to close it by Tuesday. If not, they're going to have to pay Activision Blizzard $3 billion. Unless Activision Blizzard and Xbox try to come up to some type of extension, an agreement on, on an extension. They want to delay. They know Xbox is going to close it this weekend. Bro, but I don't think she got her legs beat. She got, man. I don't have the audio of or the video of them saying that um she she wanted a 25% budget. No, I'm sorry. She asked for a 33% budget increase. They gave her a 25% budget decrease. She went in there asking for money. They told us, uh, you know, they told her, no, 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 no. Actually, you're getting less money than what you have. 
That's like that woman going there for child support. You know, I'm tired of Tyrone. He been paying me $300 a month. I want it to be increased. No, no, no. You know what? You getting less money. I actually heard a story about that. The woman went to the child like the, I don't know. In Michigan, they call them friends of the courts. I don't know what they call them in the rest of the states. They call them friends of the court. I want an increase in child support. Uh, No. Actually, you getting a damn decrease, you, you piece of shit. <laughs> That's exactly what happened today. <laughs> she was like, yeah, we need some money. No, you're getting less money. Y'all, y'all keep on losing. You're losing taxpayer money. Stop it. You ain't getting nothing else. Dark Winters with the two. Twitter looking real good with that SSD, ain't it? Yeah, it is. Looking real good. Rain G4 with the two. <laughs> Her face looked like a dev kit. Come on, man. <laughs> uh, Wimpy with the five. Sorry, I didn't realize you read them at the same time. Thought you read them. Like, yeah, it, it, it pops up because, you know, my, you know, that like Windows, it pops up on the computer screen. So it kept on popping up. But it's all good, bro. Dola Knight with the two. It's a cooked her like hibachi fried rice. That sounds good right now, actually, because I'm hungry. Angry Therapist MD with the two. Her legs was getting beat by and by both sides, man. Bro, listen. Them Republicans was on her head, man. They wasn't playing with her. I know the Democrats was much nicer to her, but them Republicans, bro, they wasn't playing, they wasn't playing with her. And they was aggressive, man. Wimpy with the two. Nobody beating those legs in. No, somebody will. Lord Star Killer with the five, a well done barbecue lean and con for her ABK actions and appeal. There should be a large disciplinary actions, including her dismissal. Look, man, I don't condone anybody losing their job, but if you're, you're that bad at your job, maybe you should get a demotion. You know what I'm saying? Because in a job like that, where you can affect the country, mm, that's something to really, really discuss. That's a conversation that needs to be had. Dark winners with the two. She looked like the chick from the Fable trailer. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, <laughs> Y'all stupid, bro. <laughs> Invincible uh, Bill B with the two Canadian. Dreamcast guy behind her about to flip her. What? Come on, man. No sexual stuff on here, man. I just got my chapters back, please. Yeah, Jamie Brown, the appeal as far as Friday. Yeah, the deal closes Saturday. That's what I was saying. Um, I forget who told me, but they said 3 a.m. Eastern time, which is, of course, the time zone I'm in. That's when that's about to close the deal. 3 a.m. Eastern time. Hey, y'all, watch some of the stuff y'all saying. Please don't. I, I don't want to put that um that filter to where it if a comment is questionable. Moderators have to unlock it. I don't want to do that, but if you guys saying some questionable stuff, I will use that because, like I said, I'm trying to keep my chapters, man. YouTube doesn't like anything sexual. No sexual stuff. And don't call nobody. Don't say she no sexual stuff, bro, please. And try not to swear either because I'm telling you, I don't want any issues because chapters does help out my channel. Thank you. One Trick Pony, his chapters is chapters. Yes. Thank you. I know we got, I got a lot of new subs lately, so just letting you guys know, no sexual stuff in the chat. Thank you. Um, Victor Click, as soon as I say that, look at this fool name. Victor Click with the five. She went from 170,000 at the start of the day to 127,000. TTS is not for everyone, lady. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Uh goodness but you know that's that's really about it man just wanted to have a little fun my mom's calling me right now i'll call her back after the show they took your chat oh you actually had had your chapters on there they took it yeah bro i'm telling you they and your channel your podcast is wild bro i'm telling you that hurts you like losing your chapters hurt your channel i'm speaking from experience Yo, I got some. Oh my god! 
Yo, Lord Star Killer. Damn, hold on. Let me. Oh shit, hold on. Let me. Hold on. Hold on. Big Biggity with the uh, ten memberships. Holy smokes! Thank you, bro. Then we got Minty Pool member for three months. My agency actually makes money from for the U.S. government, and this POS is just flushing it all the way. Sorry, fellas. TTS to WBG TTS Xbox Echo Chamber and defunct <laughs> Kraken's Den. Yeah, man. I guess he'll come back one of these days. Uh, Lord Star Killer, thank you for the five memberships, man. Thank you, bro. Appreciate you. Yeah, I got to call moms back. But yeah, man, they listen, the chapters, I'm telling you, bro, they're important. They help your channel. They recommend your your content more. All the like excessive swearing and sexual stuff, they will take your chapters, bro. They took mine for two months. So just letting you guys know. All right. Invincible Invincible with the two Canadian. Dreamcast got to be grilling dirt. Nothing <laughs> sexual. Sorry, man. Yeah, nothing sexual. No. All right. Thank you, guys. Uh, I'm about to get out of here. But look, Saturday morning or even tomorrow, I, I'm assuming Saturday morning because we should find out what happens. Oh, <laughs> right. We should find out what's, what's happening. So that's it, man. Appreciate the support, guys. Come on. Come on, Vic. Oh, F. Ray Ray. <laughs> he said F. Ray Ray chapters. So I thought, I thought you said F. My chapters. I know. Thanks, bro. Thank you, everybody. Man, you guys don't know how much I love this. You guys supporting. You guys are generous. You guys are awesome. Team Xbox, y'all. It's Xbox time, man. Xbox has caused so much salt in this community. Xbox has caused so much salt. Salt. I'm about to get out of here, but um, like I always say, look at the way these guys are behaving right now. Look at guys like Marlin Gaming having meltdowns. Saying, baby, yeah, baby. No, the cookie monster, no, 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 cookie, be one cookie, all that bullshit he was doing. Look how Kyle Moriarty is acting right now. Exclusives doesn't matter. They're mad about Xbox YouTubers growing. They're mad about Xbox YouTubers actually taking pictures with Xbox executives. They're mad at guys like me. I'm still a small YouTuber. What the hell are you mad at me for? Because I'm growing a little bit? But you've been around for 17 years and nobody cares? They're having meltdowns. Now you see Dreamcast guy being positive about Game Pass. Why are you being positive about Game Pass all of a sudden, buddy? Hmm? You the same guy that said Starfield looked like shit. You got guys like Saltiest Gaming deactivating his Twitter. Now we hear MBG said he's tired of Twitter. He might delete his Twitter. These guys had it easy last generation. They had it easy before. It was easy to say Xbox has no games. It was easy to say Xbox is dog shit. It was easy to say Xbox has no studios. It was easy to say Firefield Spencer. Now, when Xbox is doing good things, their true colors are showing. Guys like Marlin Gaming, Dreamcast guy tried to play neutral. These guys ain't no damn neutrals. And if you're new, you they could have fooled you because Dreamcast guy initially fooled me. This was maybe two years ago. I found this channel. I subbed. I thought he was neutral. The more I watched him, the more I saw the ponyism. I said, oh, F this guy. Same thing with Marlon. I did sub to him for a while when he was being positive about Xbox. Then eventually his true colors came out. I, oh, okay, I get it. No thanks, unsub. That's why guys like me, I say what I am. I don't want to mislead people. I am an Xbox guy. I don't want to even beat around the bush. 
my channel is what it is. See, look, you see guys like Alex, guys like Fatanga, Salt Mines. Those guys are really good at those salt videos, right? Way better than me. Those guys are PC guys. I am an Xbox guy. Now, I'm not comparing my videos to theirs because they are way better than me at it. They make fun of Xbox guys and PlayStation guys. That's why Alex made fun of me, right? Because I'm an Xbox guy. I'm not a PC guy. I'm Team Xbox, and I hate ponies. Transparency is the way to go. Let people know up front what they're getting. Let people know up front how this channel will be. If not, you will lose respect. Even guys I used to respect in the past. Thought they were real Xbox guys. They changed. And now nobody gives a shit anymore about their channels. Spartan 661 with the two. I'm sure Microsoft has a notary to work on this weekend. You damn right they do. Get this deal signed. This deal closed this weekend. And Monday's episode of WBG is going to be glorious. Marvin Jr. with the two. Dreamcast guy looks like he's sleep on volcanic rocks. <laughs> <laughs> man you funny bro alright so that's all I want to say man because people you know people do their channel how they want to but I let it be known what my channel is so there's no skepticism hey what kind of channel is this dude you know, is he Xbox or Playstation I don't know no nah, you know with my black ass Dota Knight with the two duds the people's champ of Xbox. Thank you, bro. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Thank you, Crispy Bomb, for stopping by. Um, Yeah. And listen, man, like for Tango videos, are freaking awesome, bro. I like his videos. To me, he's really good. Now, Salt Mines is, Salt Mines is pretty good, too. There are some other guys out there. I, I like their content. I... <laughs> Alice is okay, but I still didn't appreciate him going after me for no fucking reason. I didn't like that. All right, guys. Um, See, I actually did a, a few podcasts with Griffin Gaming. Griffin Gaming is a kid, man. He's like 24, 25 years old. He's super young, bro. When I did a podcast with him, he was only 20. So he's probably about 25 now. He's, he's, a, he's a kid, man. No, but, you know, I used to be subscribed to him. Because last generation, believe it or not, Griffin Gaming was more of an Xbox guy. But he didn't really have a channel or his channel was small. But then he became um, a PC guy. So it was all good. But um, I don't have a problem with any of those guys. Mandingo with the five duck. Guess what I'm good at? Oh, shit. Tell you what. I'm going to go ahead and do the community a service. I'm going to personally deal with Lena in the room vigorously. That's it. That's it, Medingo. I'm out of here, man. Love you guys. Uh, Medingo is out of control. You guys are awesome. And I will see you guys on TTS tomorrow on, on the Homie Shine channel. Shine 786. And um, that's it, man. Peace and love. Oh, let me get to it. Oh, shit. Peace and love. Peace and love, y'all.